Hey everybody, it is Captain Bryn here with World of Myths, and we have not done gameplay in a long while. A lot has changed with my sets. I've been playing, uh, but I just haven't been recording because I was expecting the update to come sooner, and it didn't. But the update is here with over 190 cards. It's like a, I mean, it's barely over. It's like 191, but... Uh, Still, a lot of cards were changed, and so now we have the update, and I deleted all my decks. I've made some new ones, but uh, today we are going to be playing some Freya, and it might actually be in, like, multiple uh, parts, uh, just because I'm going to try to show you guys gameplay between real players, uh, rather than just me kicking bots butts, because bots are easy in my I mean, bots can be difficult, but you don't really get to see the game being played how it basically is against a real player because bots make stupid mistakes and so forth. So, um, we will be playing Freya for now. Thor will probably be in the next video. I'm going to take a break from Egyptian. I've been playing a bunch of Egyptian, and these two, I really, really like their decks. Um, Athena kind of working on uh, you I've been testing out some common popper decks because we have a tournament coming up uh, but I think by the time this video is actually out that tournament will have already started but if you're watching this video by the time it's released you're probably already in, involved in the popper gauntlet if you want to be otherwise uh, you will probably see this video way down the line but regardless I uh, we I will be back with an actual game. Hey, here we go. Mini queso, but it is Sarek Bodo who we are playing against. So this ought to be fun. Uh, and we have a perfect hand where we can get well equipped Dreadwalker. Uh, well now actually even more so. Uh, even more power so. We'll play that, but we may actually get Freya to buff him, uh, depending on how this goes. Queso's going to screw with our uh, bonus. Our bonus is when a unit with five or more power dies, give your weakest unit two power, and this can snowball super big. Uh, so hopefully we get it to actually go off a time or two. Uh, Queso's new ability is essentially just enemy units have minus one power. Uh, and so that can have some implications later on. But we shall see what happens. Oh, hey. This priest got nerfed a little bit. We're going to go with this symbol. And then we'll just pass. Uh, I know he can just hit the middle temple and we lose it, but kind of need this uh, the nerdist teachings to happen ASAP just so we can uh, or that just kills it. Darn it. <laughs> That's no fun. Yeah, yeah I see you laughing. But at the moment, we're just kind of sitting here waiting because we don't have any other units, so our perk is useless. So even if this Dreadwalker dies, its ability and Freya don't matter. So that's why I just use Freya to attack, because why not? Oh, and by the way, I have a new thingy, except it may be over here. I don't know where it's at, because where I point doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. Um... But I changed the outline of my little webcam to a unit because I am not a spell, I am a unit. But. <laughs> okay. That's annoying. I don't think it's worth wasting this, so we will just block one. Um, that is super good. Okay. We will try this, but uh, Freya, my Freya deck has a super, super slow start, uh, just because we have a whole bunch of giants 
because we are running Belgamir. I think it's, or maybe it's Bergelmir. I think that's how it's spelled. I don't remember how it's spelled. Thus, I can't remember how to pronounce it. But, um, we are basically a very greedy for a deck because we need a lot of units with five or more power. And so, rather than, we do have ways to buff lower power units, but we don't have a lot of early game. So the fact that Seric Bodo is kind of being timid, not necessarily timid, uh, but he's not just immediately attacking me, he's setting up his board, because once Queso has a nice board to defend everything, this gets crazy. And now this is nice because we will be able to get another unit down. Uh, he might be able to block it, but uh, or kill it, but hey, at least he... Uh, we will have somebody down. Um, and we're going to go with this. We're not going to attack because one, we don't necessarily need to attack. He can block everything. But we kind of want both of these to be alive. Just on the off chance that something awful happens and we lose this. Because he's probably running Shamash. Because who isn't running Shamash these days? Um, which Shamash did... No, it did not change. Yes, it did. It uh, increase in cost by one. Oh. And that was really about it. I don't think Magma Crusher changed. Uh, up to five power rather than four. Okay, awesome. If he doesn't kill this, then we can just kill this and then this will be at nine power. <sighs> I forgot about that. Okay, so he wants that unit buffed. We'll go with that. We'll block part of it. Um, oh, Bert, this is amazing. Bergelmere, that's what it is. Got it. So we will go here. And then let's force him to defend. Virgilmere on turn, what is this, five? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, seven. Well, not turn five. On turn seven, we get to basically drop Virgilmere, who costs nine. We will draw the two weakest giants from our deck and reduce their cost by two, which I have set it up to where every giant costs seven. Thus, when he gets played, they will now cost five. And so turn with nine fades, you get to drop Virgilmere. With 10 fades, you get to drop two giants, both of which have five power, and I believe two endurance. No, one has seven power, and one has five power. So, we are now high rolling, because once we get units going, we just have so much fun. You know what? Maybe we need to turn this up just a bit. So the desktop is picking it up. But maybe it's working. <laughs> I still don't think it is. There we go. Okay. So he's blocking there. And... You know what? Let's just do it. Let's just block with this. Which will give this two power and its base will be three, thus it will have five on our turn. And then, oh, we drew one of our giants, but it'll still work because we get to play him and we draw Boreal Giant and Magma Cruncher. Both now cost five, and so our next turn we can drop both of those guys down. And we will just keep pounding Queso because eventually Queso will run out of health. It's kind of the idea. We could go after this middle temple. But I kind of want to wait until we can get one of our bigger units uh, to go after a middle temple. But there is an, an... I don't know if it's an OTK. Uh, but there is a one creature combo that is insane with this deck. And that is really nice that we killed that unit. Uh, and then we still did damage to Queso. But... 
If we ever pull Leer Leerboy, just wait. That is my favorite combo. All you need is a board set up with five or more, with units that have five or more power of any number. And if your opponent has them, even better. And if you can kill them, even better. But with Praise of Sun, it will just keep working wonders. Ooh. Cost two or lower. So all of those, actually. Fun, but yet not fun. We'll just block with this. We have no need to drop the rest, but now here's a big kicker. Here, here it comes. Here it comes. Oh yeah. Um, we'll save on going after Queso, but let's go after his Metal Temple and force him to defend. He can easily defend. He waste uses up to endurance. I don't know if it's exactly wasting, but oh. Meh. Yep, he blocked everything. Pretty easily, too, because his units have extra power with it. This, this is a unit is like so essential for. Mezzos, it is just ridiculous how essential that unit is to them. Holy cow. Okay. I don't particularly like this. I really don't like that. But it's okay. We can... We can deal with it. We can block it. And... We can have some fun while we're at it. So the weak... Wow, we can wipe his board. However, I don't know if we want to wipe his board. But we might as well. So this is our weakest unit will gain two power. So let's go and play Axonado, which will kill the Magma Crusher, which kills one of his other units. And I don't know why he lost an endurance. Oh, because that made that one. Darn it, it was supposed to kill that. Oh well, we'll still kill this. Um. And then we have 17 coming at them. We're going to save our Praise of Sun because I'm pretty sure he's got back to dust. Um, and if he does, it's okay. Otherwise, we win? No, not necessarily. Uh, yeah, we do win. He can only block 8 of this. If 9 goes through, he's got to do something. Darn it! Stupid Pacab of the North. <laughs> we don't block it. <laughs> but, uh, if six damage goes through, Fenrir comes in for the win. Okay, unless he heals, we win on our next turn. And then, yeah, we get more buffs from Freya. Now we have a 13 power. <laughs> Freya's insane. Oh, this is so fun. That went downhill for Queso and Sarek Bodo, but uh, I don't think they misplayed anything. I think that was just a super good turn. I mean, I basically killed three units that turn. Okay, if you don't heal, we win. Oh. Oh, I hate that card. Really hate that card, but it's a really good card. It's a really, really good card. However, we have 13 damage. He blocks three. We can deal 10. This still works. Oh, shoot! 
His leader comes on the board, and thus his upgrades actually trigger. Well, maybe this, this will still work, because he can block 7. We have 15. 10's coming through, so we're good. <laughs> oh, close, close. That was a very good game, though. Um, we will be back with another one. Here we go. Martilla just... <laughs> Sorry about all that. Artilla just lost, and um, he, me and Sir, uh, Sergboda were actually about to um, play another match right after that previous one, but. He got paired up with Rodilla and ranked, and so, yeah, that sucks. So we lose a Wolfsbane's drop, which, maybe that was a stupid idea. Um, uh, but I was just trying to get something out. We're gonna save this. Maybe. We'll just pass. We don't, we don't need to play. Maybe I shouldn't have played this. Selfish Gym is kind of a bad play because we do have a bunch of spells. So the fact that we discard one is just kind of meh. Okay. And we got nothing to defend. But what we can do is this and then summon Freya and not attack with Freya. We can make Freya defend our middle temple if he summons Osiris again because it looks like Rotilla has got a greedy uh, Osiris deck where he just will start dropping super big creatures which on one hand having super big creatures is going to help us out. So we might as well use that to our advantage. So this can't defend, but it can attack. So he has to defend with this, or if it kills it, or or if he doesn't block it, it still kills Fresh Recruit. And thus he's left with this Golden Cherry, which has six faith, or six power, and we can use Axonado to kill it, because that will count as the weakest uh, unit. So, now we're, now we're in the game. <laughs> you suck. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> oh. Well, he's waiting to Axonado him down pretty easily. That's so frustrating. I mean, we could just do this, but... I don't... Yeah, we might as well. And then, let's give our little guy an endurance. Yeah, Cleric Boner's made a hilarious comment about how Mummify makes him feel like a kid. <laughs> or, here's what he said. Mummify makes him feel like a kid. Is so glad to finally get and show off his skateboard, only for another kid to scoff and wave his hoverboard. Yeah, that's how that felt. I mean, I had this awesome giant. You just wrecked it. Okay, that's annoying. But, not the worst. Because he's got no faith. We can kill that. Which buffs that significantly. And we might as well buff this significantly. And... <laughs> oh, we win! Because he has no way to heal his leader. And we just dealt 9 damage and Fenrir is next. We win. <laughs> Holy shoot. That's not how that I expect that to go. But Osiris 
And Rotilla, you need to learn when you're playing against Norse, you can't open yourself up to Fenrir. I mean, that's just... The fact that Fenrir is going in every single Norse deck is just ridiculous. He did res no, he played another one. But... Doesn't matter where you go. Yeah, I can't do anything. But I don't need to do anything. He's left at no faith. We have Fenrir because Fenrir is amazing. Even this cool beastly new art, which is super creepy yet super amazing. Okay, come on animation, catch up. You get to say well played and see ya! We'll have a little glass of drink there. Whew. We are level 13 now. I believe we just got 500 gold normally, and we just dealt a whole bunch of damage to Osiris. We now have two backs open. Um, so that was that was fun. And that is a great way to uh, end a video. We are getting near to having a complete collection. Uh, I think there's a f pretty much Mesoamerican. I am missing a bunch. Uh, I don't know if I have two of every epic. I have two of every epic that I want to play. Um, and that's kind of about it. And we got a bunch of nothing there. But we should... Oh, we're 90 off from another mythical. But um, I believe... Well, we have Sword of Rebellion, which I kind of feel bad that I don't have. But we have all the Greek and uh, Norse. Missing those two Japanese ones. And then we're missing all of these Mesoamerican. And we have all of Egyptian. But as far as epics go, we are missing one in Mesoamerican, a couple copies of a few in here. I don't think we're missing any in neutral. Missing one in Greek, one here, and then one there. Uh, actually, multiple there, because there's one, there's one. But we'll get there. Actually, I could probably get a whole bunch of these epics out of the way. But we aren't going to worry about it. So, with that, we're going to wrap the video up. Thank you all for watching. It is super fun. I love the update. And we will have more Norse coming. I'm going to probably highlight Thor next because I love Thor. And we'll play all the Norse gods. Uh, during the Popper tournament, I'll be playing some Greek gods and possibly some Japanese gods. So you might see some of that footage before. Uh, you see the rest of these Norse videos, but I will be playing every leader at least once for a video, so we'll see how that goes, because I'm going to try to get play against real players every time, so we'll just have to see. So, thank you all for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. And just in case it doesn't work. Oh, hey everybody, it has been a little too long since we've seen any gameplay, so I'm here to bring Freya, the new edition of Freya, which is essentially when a unit with fire more power dies, give your weakest unit two power. Notice a unit, it doesn't have to be your unit, it can be any unit, so kind of how I've built Freya is I have a bunch of kill cards like Oxenado, Smash, you died, Loki's Barn kills my creatures, but there's enough uh, killing of our opponent's units, and so if they get snowballing and get super powerful, as long as we have a unit on board, we will be able to buff ourselves, and generally how that's happened with uh, my games is I'll have a unit ready to attack, and then I'll just wipe their board, and then that a unit will be able to stay, and the best one is Lear Boy Junkins, and if I can set up a board with a bunch of five uh, plus creatures and then kill them all with Lear Boy, he gets every single one of Freya's buffs and it's pretty freaking cool. Uh, I think the highest I've gotten him up to is uh, 19, which is when I had a Wolfsbane to kill an opponent's five power plus unit plus Praise the Sun and then I killed four of my own units with five plus power. One of them being well equipped Dreadwalker. So, this can get, this is the, hopefully you get to see that. Uh, if not, that combo does exist with Lear Boy, so it's pretty cool. Uh, we do get to see Bel uh, Bergelmir 
do some fun stuff. Hopefully we draw him and play him because he's super fun. So uh, with that, we will get on to a game. <laughs> 